hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today we are going to transfer whatsapp from android to ios but we could also transfer from ios to android there are several ways and we have seen quite a few and some of them are a bit cumbersome that we have to change the version of the whatsapp and they are not compatible with all the versions that we have on android or ios so there are pros and cons on everything and today i'm going to share with you a tool that although it's not free it's without any issues whatsoever i did test it out and i had access to a license so that i could test and then share my opinion with you and that's what i'm going to do now in my particular case i'm using a galaxy s20 fan edition and an iphone 12 mini with whatsapp updated we can also use whatsapp business if that's your case and for more specifications i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out with wondershare whatsapp which is really really rich in terms of features and compatibility now if you are looking for a windows 10 or windows 11 key don't forget to check out bnh software which is a platform that we have been using for the past few months with a really easy user interface easy to purchase and easy to activate your windows license and even office 2021 so i will also leave a link down below now in terms of the process was a matter of minutes and of course this will depend on the whatsapp content that we have on our phone if it's a really big library it will take a little bit more first thing that we will need to do is to go to wondershare whatsapp website and i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out directly but if you find if you search on google you will find it very easily now the download will be done on our android phone even if you want to transfer from ios to android or android to ios the app will be on the android site actually we will need a cable before we start just make sure you have a lightning to usb in this particular case or you have a phone an older phone with micro usb or something like that then you will need that particular cable if you don't have then wondershare whatsapp as a solution which will involve a computer you can download a desktop app that will transfer from the phone to the computer and then from the computer to the other phone but in my particular case i did use the cable which is really really awesome and it will be directly from one phone to the other this is one of the things that i really enjoy there's no transfer to any side it's securely from one phone to the other that being said let's go for the process now once we have the app we just need to open it up by the way my phone is in portuguese but if you use the english version will be exactly the same but with english so i will be guiding you through the steps no issues whatsoever so once we start the app it will allow us to choose if we want regular whatsapp or whatsapp business after that we will choose if we want to transfer from android to ios or ios to android and then we will need to give some permissions now once we do that it will need to verify if we have uh, updated backup in my particular case i didn't so i had to put a updated backup which was really quick once i did that it will ask me for my phone number and then the process will start now the time will depend on the content that we have my whatsapp account on this particular phone is a account that i don't use regularly i use it for tests i use it for a lot of stuff but i don't have much content so it's really really fast and easy in your particular case if you have a huge account with videos and pictures and so on and so forth expect to take a little bit longer but nothing special now once the process is started it will scan the whatsapp content and it will show us a summary of what we have there in terms of messages pictures and so on and so forth and until this point you can use the software without paying anything and you will have the idea if you can transfer it or not once we reach this point it will ask us to do a login and when we press login if we have an account already with the license then it will go which was my particular case but in your particular case if you don't have then you will need to purchase the license so that you keep on moving and transfer your whatsapp to the other phone once we log in then we can move on with the process it will ask us to connect the cable and to give permissions on the iphone once that is done it will start doing in my case i had my iphone with the storage almost full so it gave me a error i did need to delete a few apps and once i did delete them i was able to proceed and in no time uh, i was with the process done now it's, it was saying uh, less than 50 minutes but i believe that it took about 
five or six minutes, something like that. The transfer was successful and then the iPhone restarted. Once the iPhone restarted, I did remove the SIM card from my Android phone. I did put it on the uh, iPhone and when I started WhatsApp, it was exactly as it was on the Android phone. So the experience, as you could see, really easy. One of the advantages that I see right over here is that, first of all, using the cable, we don't, we are not giving access to connect it to anything, to connect it to the web. So in my opinion, it's really, really secure. Then the other advantage is that I don't need to mess up with WhatsApp versions. I can be using the latest version of WhatsApp and the Wondershare WhatsApp will transfer as it is. And we have tested other methods that we need to downgrade and we need to mess up with the WhatsApp version and they don't allow us to have the latest Android or an oldest version of Android. And right over here, I don't think there is a, lim a limitation in terms of Android or iOS and not even on WhatsApp, which is really, really awesome. And I do believe that it's the strong points of this software. If the video was helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.